My name is Shay Brackney, and I want to share a little bit about the miracle that God has worked in my life. Um, so when I was young, my parents brought us to church, but it was one hour every Sunday, and then we went home, and we didn't talk about it again. We never opened a Bible, and um, though in Sunday school I was competitive, so I learned all the books of the Bible. I just never actually read what was inside. And it went along that way uh, for a number of years. And in my early teens, almost teens, um, we suffered some family tragedies, which I'll get into more on the oh, Overflow podcast later. Um, but it caused me to be really angry with God, and I turned my heart and my mind against anything that had to do with him and um, would literally lock the door on Sundays and wouldn't come out when my parents went to church. And it went on that that for a number of years. And then my father um, became ill when I was about 15 or 16. And that was a prolonged illness. And um, in my early 20s, he was uh, en route to passing away. And I started to have a ton of questions because I knew at least enough to remember that there was something that had to do with Jesus and seeing my family again. So now I had a bunch of questions. And when he passed, I started to, in earnest, like visit all sorts of churches and try, trying to get all my, my questions answered. It was my biggest mission. And no one was answering the questions in the way that I wanted them answered. And I was living in Arizona, which has a, a very heavy Mormon population. And I had a friend who introduced me to that church. And they seemed to have an answer to every question. No matter what I asked, they had an answer. They had an answer to what happened after this life. They had, they had answers to how to live life now um, and how to pass all the tests that we were given here on earth. And that, that was, that uh, is their understanding of what our purpose is on earth. And so um, I was in hook, line and sinker. I was married at the time. I had uh, my first child, um, Jacob and, um, Frank, my husband, did not join with me at the time, but he allowed me to raise our um, children in the church. And so went along for a number of years, true believing Mormon. I was um, hook, line, and sinker, and you couldn't have convinced me that what I was learning was not truth. And so fast forward another few years, and we moved to Colorado. And a few years after that, a family moved in across the street and um, great family. And the wife came over to introduce herself. Her name was Allison. We bonded on all things HGTV. We <laughs> remodeled each other's houses, painted each other's cabinets. And in all those moments together, we had really deep conversations and our friendship grew really, really fast. And um, she was, uh, they were Christian. And um, every so often, Allison would prompt me with a question. Basically, why do you believe X, Y, and Z the way you do? Why do you believe that? And I would shut the conversation down hard because I really believed that she just didn't know the whole story. She just didn't understand the bigger picture. But I never felt like I was her project. I never felt like she was trying to talk to me to convert me. I, I always knew that the, body, the basis of our friendship was, was a really deep love for each other. And so... But as these questions progressed and as I was busy in the church, because that is a, a Mormonism is a religion of works, um, working out your salvation is high priority. And so I was really busy. I held very high callings. I was busy reading the, their set of scriptures. I was busy trying to raise my family. I had a, I, I had a full-time job. I was exhausted. And all the while, when I first came to that church, I was looking for God. And I now felt like I was for, further away from him because I felt like nothing I was doing was good enough. I was never quite good enough. And so I felt unworthy and I felt far away. And finally, it came to a head and I was on my knees in my closet because I had to get away from the children. Um, just to have a little quiet time. And I remember being in tears and just praying in earnest to be close and to be good enough. And the answer I kept getting was to go read the Bible. And that was the answer. It was as simple as that. And I kept looking for a bigger answer. And finally, that nagging feeling wouldn't leave. So I made my way to Lifeway 
and found um, a Bible and brought it home and hid it because I didn't want my husband to know I was having any doubts or any questions. And that feeling stayed with me for a few months and I finally opened the Bible. And I started at the very beginning and over the course of a little over a year, I read the Bible. And when I got to Galatians 3.23, and I'm paraphrasing, um, but it says that um, you were, we were protected, we were under the protection of the law until the way of faith was revealed to us. And it was miraculous, like a oh, hundred pounds of weight had lifted off my shoulders. And at that moment, I understood that the works I'd been doing, trying to work out my salvation was actually living under a law mm -hmm. and that God was now there to help extend his hand to me to, to walk me through faith. But with that came a really heavy burden because I now knew I needed to leave the Mormon church because what was being taught there was not true. And that is terrifying because it's very socially indoctrinating. All of our friends, all of our doctors, all of the people who were working with me in my side business, all, all of them were Mormon. And, um, but I couldn't deny what I knew to be true. So there was a straw that broke the camel's back and I, that was it. I was done. And I decided at that moment to spring that on my husband who had finally joined the church after about 10 years of my membership. And after letting him know that I was leaving the church, I got up and walked out of the house and walked across the street to Allison's house. And as we were tending in her garden in the back, my heart was racing. I just blurted it out, Allison, I'm, I'm leaving the church. And I know in that moment, inside she was jumping for joy, but she hugged me and um, set me back just a little bit and put her hands on my shoulders and asked if she could pray for me. And the feeling of the spirit in that moment has bonded us together for good. Um, the miracle of that friendship, she helped walk me through the deconstruction of what I had been taught. She helped me um, bridge to a relationship with Jesus and um, was there for me all along the way. Um, brought me into her growth group and uh, which walked me into her church and um, surrounded me with good and loving people. And when it came time to move, um, I was, I knew that my feet were firmly planted in faith and that I knew who Jesus was. And um, that's the miracle of, of that friendship and the miracle that God has produced in my life, that I have a relationship with him now. The one thing I'd always sought, I now have. And I'm so very, very thankful for it. That's my story. Thank you.